Ravens gets it across the goal line. Mark Connors got the ball and shot it. Goal! Goal! Bi Ray or Gopele Egi Wallis no Nijak Shahtuji Gosahtuji. Agus and the Kartlor, Bi Trur Jirahir as a Verbon. Michael, Brendan Agus Sean Lowry. Estini de Frulli, Sean Farmore, Creamore again. Sean Lowry getting it. Sean Lowry taking his shot and sending it over the bar. We Brendan Specialta, where he shot up to score now. This is Brendan Lowry. Go! Go! Michael, Ishkun. That's for the job that they never get, the end change job. And going back to get us there, Mick Lowry. Boyut Clonwak Nedrigus Margaret Lowry. I was near Vigalur, Galermod, Bon, Erimishkis, the Quigadi, Mark Lon, Dilshid Ermali, and Iwali, as Manchin Hasna. ESB started to build a power station in Forban at the time, which wouldn't have been too far away from my mother's and father's home place. It certainly was a huge boost, not alone because my father came back, but because a lot of fellas got jobs. We're here in St. Connick's Terrace, and there's 26 houses in a kind of almost a circle like. So there's a big green field there. That was all, so we just played there day in, day out. Lots of battles. My father used to bring me to all the matches. At that time, uh, we didn't have a car. A so we had a motorbike, but before we had a motorbike, we didn't have anything. So, so what we did was, he used to have to book a lift to go to the match. Five shillings for the lift and a half crown for me. And, and like, that was, there was no way, way you could bring anyone else, you know what I mean? But my mother never went to matches, like, because there were such big families. We brought her early on, no. She came to a few matches now. I was at, we were at another 21 match in Navin. Sean and, Do you remember Sean that? And Sean and Eamon. Sean and Eamon were playing in Navin. Navin. And she, she cleared the hall. <laughs> there was a circle of people around her. It's like a bomb scare. She was never brought again. <laughs> <laughs> she, was, she was never brought again, anyway, I know that. By Sean and Hed Rahakabaha Ganzi in the Shinchid Guvali, the Nijak Shah to Hill, Vishar Panel of Wild Gaia, near of Ru Ivali, Colon Vikir, than Gate Wedidiov. Achavlian Dargian, Ganzi Ividisha Vir Grimig, Ags Vifu Padorn Crave as a Hill of Ruhind, Agas Puyat Kiri Virumpo. Dad would bring us along just to know that your brother was going to be out there in a few hours' time. and mm. Didn't bring me ma. No, we couldn't. <laughs> Poor mom. We couldn't. Sean would have been the Mr. Forban football at the time. So I'm sure that was a, a, an amazing thing for the two guys and indeed their peers to have their own brother being there, newly arrived, if you like. Fadigal Hooley was manager at the time. He pulled me one side in 72 before the All-Ireland final and I thought I was going to get the a dressing down or tell me how to play or tactics or whatever, you know. So all Father Gilhooley said to me was, may our Lord look after you and our lady protect you. And that's it, out you go. I know Willie Bryan gave an exhibition. He got the three points, I'd say, in the second half. You have all the feelings of, for family and for achievement. Uh, it's all you ever wanted to do. I, I was in a different planet. I mean, here was I at 20 years of age, you know, after beating Kerry in an Ireland final. I mean, it's crazy stuff. Railway station. 72, I was in sixth class. See Tony McTague and Sean bringing the cup into the, into the school. I, I was... You were fifth or sixth? I was about sixth, ten foot it? tall. I was brother of Sean bringing the cup into the, into the school well, and fifth. everybody was asking me questions, so oh, it was great. What it felt for them to see their big brother bringing in the, in the cup and, uh, you know, it led to them being more successful because at that stage, even though there was eight or nine years between them, it would have propelled them into wanting to do what Big Sean had done before. Good gin or all to Tosh a talk to target of their own, done a lad's ogre, this fatal or well look shin with Johar's tall road egg and boat again, August Tosh had a commissary gwinge on road egg and Kusula shin a yen of coma. 
Ach ni rädde le i vägi korlen och gud. Jag ser fan på nåt gemlierna hittar sig till här gånna fahi pelle. Kiri Agus Blacklie. Vi mjäg gu fahi Agus Agus lån kunde hela, men han är Blacklie. Vi ser tre korn Agusin. Han är stolt att i från det färre av Kiri vi ser dockret. At the time, it was being dominated by uh, Dublin and Leinster, and Dublin and Kerry at an all Ireland level, and and then this unknown quantity, Eugene McGee arrived. The biggest plus Eugene had was his attention to detail. He mightn't talk to you for three weeks during the <laughs> during the training, <laughs> but but at the same time, he was always there, and I always three weeks. Is that what he said? Three months or three weeks? <laughs> Whereas he was very difficult. Very hard taskmaster, but we believed in him. Domrod e gorevshe le dain of egu fado veik orho bo erblakli agus kiri agus on kaid kaim na kuigeloin. Le banish tiht nu edish tu rugus le shani gim of Marlon tasach hugu vani fui win Kevin Heffernan rail to vlakli e nijek shach tu nai e blifi kanish hugeloin. Sean was a big, strong guy, but for, for a big, strong guy, big, strong player, a player who could play. So long ago, kind of Kenra Nardura, to be honest, far more larger, three larger, get three more, get, I guess, uh, you know, on the pedal door of you. This is the furthest out he's taken, but it's no more than two. That's brilliant marksmanship. We were ahead of them, but marginally a point or two. Brian Mullins was fouled. They had a free in. And he got annoyed, and you know he reacted with an awfully player, so they lost their free. A bit of controversy as well because there was a ball thrown up, meant to be between Bernard Brogan and one of the awfully players, but Mullins came in and fisted it down. It ended up with Bernard Brogan scoring a goal. Big or near Connick Shade of Odney's Congo, Le Blacle, Augustin and Talked, the McGee, Dolem Shay and Tong Glare, Gokke Noor, a coilator, Le Blacle, August and Blean, Dargon Vidor, Bjogani, and his lodger. Do you think the awfully supporters, having got to last year's final, won't be satisfied with you getting just at the final anymore? Well, they weren't too satisfied actually after last year's final, so I'd hate to be around next Monday if we don't win this final. Kerry were flamboyant and could beat you with football alone, but Dublin, to me, taught us about how you compete. Tough football in 80, in 1980. I remember that first 20 minutes and it was serious stuff. That was the day Matt Connor ran riot in the second half. The tour de force from Matt, he scored a fabulous goal that, that effectively broke Dublin hearts and put the issue beyond doubt. Fui ere, vinna Dubs boil Jacob. Ach boi ad peladorin a reach de virumpa, e glufi lia chanis na heiden. At that stage, like Kerry were going, they they had beaten Dublin two All Ireland finals, 78-79. They were meeting Offaly in all Ireland semi-final who had beaten Dublin, so they would have felt that there was no problem here. They wanted a big man to watch John Liston. They don't come out any bigger, and Paul Watchman looks the way he's grabbed that ball with the hand, than Sean Lowry. Oh, God, I mean, a uh, roller coaster of you I mean, 4-12 to 48 of Solom. We had a kind on, on our station, we had a long score now. Well, first of all, it's Pat Spillane's fault. You give him a hospital pass, really. I had taken off anyway at this stage, as I was a little late. But if you, you looked at it... as quick as you could, like. <laughs> If you looked at it in real time... And Paddy Collins came over to me and took me in. So he says, the next time you step out of line, you're going. He had me handcuffed from the start. Listen, into the centre, and Pat Spillane is there! I don't think there was ever any sense we were going to beat Kerry. But yet... We seem to expose some chinks. Yeah, I think the experience in the end just cut off. Like. And this ball is gone into the 
Kerry, they were going for their three in a row. The final whistle is gone. The score, Kerry 4-15, Osley 4-10. Now, the, the good thing about that time, we were kind of getting confidence, but we still knew we had to up our game, you know. Change a few players along the way as well. You know, the older players were, were moving on. There was a newer breed coming. What an amazing game. Viva I was Lily Hedy Michael, I was Brendan, I was Tihir, the Stacher Banel, with the Queen Nuer Sam of Rohind. And now here come Offley, the Leinster champion. In Linda Gordo Hill, Rowney, Brendan Lowry, and Fanelli Wadi, I was Pirkawanigan. Brendan was had that different mercurial type, natural forward, had been a soccer player, you know, a little bit prima donnaish. I'm sure he'd smile if he heard me saying that. That time, I suppose, you played GA, thank God it's not, no. <laughs> if I was corner forward, you'd have to run out the field. Yeah. <laughs> you know, at least, you know, yeah, at that time you had to stay in, and if you didn't kick it into you, well then. You had to be mean? given the ball that time. What's that? You wouldn't well, if we didn't, if the ball was kicked over the line wide, <laughs> if you weren't in there, it's your fault. Like. Yeah. Whereas nowadays you can go out and around. Yeah, you hadn't. Uh, I prefer the high ball. Like. You weren't great at winning a ball now, Brandon, in fairness. <laughs> <laughs> if you bend the special team, I'd be sure able to score in all. You know, the Talandi and you was actually able to rip the log layer. And Farah was able to score in all, and it's on a hot occasion. <laughs> The Vishig Dolly Vyavis got in Bleen, August the Crave Shane Octa Hain, came or came, the Vishig tapped. And here come Terry! In the Shade Vlian Gimmert, Rob Brendan, Cliffy Canish and Hayden, Lena Gira Hershon. Brendan Lowry, Lowry's kick is high. Ach immers groeig doel hier i ronje smidderini kom vring lodje wie Jacob Sam a groeig in slechte hele. Eighty one, if we played our best and were beaten, it'd be hard to come back. But like we didn't play really up to our full potential in eighty one and still weren't far away from Kerry, you know. But this Queen them come out and modern dark young August Vimer, Glaves and Newton, Rev Kiri and, and Furnace Far Reeve August and Ravain for an Abel de, you know, a Nov Nocter, a Guala. Awfully though defeated, came back to Turnmore last night. Bang. Everyone remembers 1981 coming home, the homecoming. We got on lorries, then we went down through the town. For the turnout we had, we said, the supporters deserved another shot at this, and I'd say every man to a man said, yes, we'll give it one more shot, this is well worthwhile. It was their sense of belief in us that then made us believe in ourselves that it was something we should really go for again, that, you know, this could be doable. In the last few days, it was a good thing. It was a good thing to make it a good a Juan Gortujo with Cliff and Jan Janus and Hayden in line the Gaelive. I had trouble with torn hamstrings for all of '82. For the Galway game, I was taped from hip to past the knee. This is uh, Mick Lowry, and look at that for a heavy bandage on that right thigh. I didn't even take part in the parade around the field. I was getting it touched up because I couldn't move. Michael was a very sticky back. We wouldn't have seen him before. He would have, would, would have been one of the new young lads that would have come in. And going back together there, Mick Lowry. You see, to be in Mexico, Unta Pshinako. In size Tahi, Egg Martin, August Egg Sean, August Adini Shin, August Adin, to be lads all get tapped. So to be in Mexico, Mahago Hanshin. Well, send it to centre now, and this is Brendan Lowry. Goal! Goal by Brendan Lowry. And there's the final whistle, and it is awfully by one point. Now we were there. We were there where we wanted to be. I think it was three weeks to the final, but the media thing was rolling, and there was only one answer to this thing. None can compare with the green and the gold, who are forced to be champions five times in a row. Five in a row, I just don't think about it. It's another All-Ireland to be won for Kerry. 
Shin and Kesta Vig got in your satir, a may carry up to unstarry in of August and Kuigu, Corn of Vintasakil. On a one ashore, make a wire, so it's all because a lyric matter, Steve. You will remember what Eugene McGee said was, we'll go down in history as the team that Kerry beat to win the five in a row, or the team that. That that we, for that 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 on Sunday that you will never meet. You were playing for people you will never see. They're going to be in back roads in Fermanagh and down in different counties and all kinds of all over the world in Australia. People are going to have their chest out on Monday morning after awfully winning, if awfully win. You'll be after doing it for them, but you will never know. So Sean's thing brought the emotion into it. You know, if this is our day, by God, we're going to do it. And Cade score for Liam Corrams, a V Iguina, real like a McGee, a V Baker, you know, but she's not a fan of an end on fern. Liam Corrams. A shot that's high, and this one is over the Michael was playing in John Egan, and I thought uh, Taylor made for him. He was very, very tough man to mark because he was so strong, he'd solo one-handed, so he'd hold you off with left or right. A dangerous dropping ball that John Egan, if he could get into it, could do trouble with, but uh, he doesn't get to it. It's Mick Lowry. I know the half-back line got to score each. That was all the first half. That was a real boost. Oh, a lovely point. I, I scored so many in my time, I can't remember. But, but... <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 Here no. Here we go again. <laughs> <laughs> Kerry are coming at us. And this is the leadership quality Sean has. I'm going to burst up here and show these guys what we can do. And a great shot there by Sean Lowry, coming up from well inside his own half. And it looks as if... I was taken off that day. Tom Dunno came to me and he says, hard luck making. I said, I am absolutely shattered. We had a quite a deadly full forward line with Matt Connor there and Johnny Mooney and Brendan Lowry. Brendan Lowry's shot is high and it's over the bar. Four Brendan three Colleen and you can as a Kayla, you know, it's a wonderful score issue. Comes out to Tomas Connor across into the centre and over the bar again. Another point by Brendan Lowry. Ball knocked away from him. Bomber list and Pat Spillan. Pat takes a shot and his first kick of the game. They began to get in control of the game, get a couple of scores ahead, and then they got the penalty decision. That's Pat Spillan, and there is a penalty. When I was going to kick the game, it was more glaring back, and I said, oh, it's a derelict scale, but by me, they just finocked, done, you know, done Bruno and Corn. Martin Furlong, there was one man of steel. If this is going to be stopped, he's the man that could do it, and we have to be ready. Mikey Sheedy, the anxiety, the importance of this kick, Five in a row they're bidding for. Martin Furlong in the goal. He saved it. He saved it. Oh, Martin, what a save. I'll give him to the station. We were fantastic. It's all great. Graham McGoffrey into fantastic. The five in a row. It was getting closer, everybody was getting on edge, and when they weren't pushing to that glorious four or five points, to get, getting away from Offaly, it always gave Offaly that chance. 17 to 15, Kerry back there, trying to hold on. They saw the five in a row in the distance, and they just wanted to protect it. I remember Mikey Sheehy and Sean Welch and Pat Spillane. There was three or four of them in a line coming up the field with the ball, and I got it and gave it to Pat Fitzgerald. But Sean Lowry out to the wing. And brought that there, brought down out there, Stephen Darby. And, and I was three. winded in the tackle. Couldn't breathe, you know. The ball there, waiting for someone to kick this ball in. And Richie Connor, he just showed for the short one. Cook the no mate there on a V2X mean a well bay to go make chance to go cool in the all August. 
Come here, you know, Colleen Esprawl, the Kiri, a Darren. There and here they come. This is Liam Connor, the fullback. A high, lovely, dropping ball. It turns the goal down. A shot. A goal. A goal. A goal for Rafi. It's just meant to be. It just between Charlie Nelligan's fingers and it was just the width of the ball going in there. Like. It was unbelievable. The one thing that always struck me was how cool Mick Fitzgerald was. Mick, yeah, Joe. After your celebration with Seamus Starby. He walked by me, didn't he? He walked by and he as if to say, get out of the way, lads, I want to see where <laughs> Mickey Sheehy was. That's you know? right. That's... You know, he, he, he never even congratulated yeah, Darren. No, he just walked by no, there. He was, <laughs> as if he missed it. His job, he still had a job to do, you know, so. But the one thing that I was afraid of was that they were going to get another score. All the hard work down the drain. Well, we couldn't just wait for that final whistle and on the sideline and not being able to do anything and we trying to defend their attack. As soon as Martin Furlong got the ball, I headed into the goals. So I said at that stage, I said, if I get this ball now, I'm going to give it to no man. I don't care who he is. I'm going to go to Hill 16 if I have to. Martin Furlong has it. A pass is intercepted by Reggie Sheehy. There's the kick. It's high and it dropped into the So with that, when I caught the ball, I looked up and PJ McGrath had his two hands out in the middle of the field. And my God, that was some feeling. Oh, I'll never forget. The game is over. Oh dear, what a game. What a game. So just the whole place just erupted. Of course, nowadays, I suppose, if you won a Crow Park, it wouldn't be. Like that, but that time was the right thing. Everybody was on the pitch, and oh, it's just unbelievable. We only met each other on the podium. Like. Sure, I, did, I didn't even get up on the podium. Mm. And there's Sean Lowry, and he's got the ball, and he's going to hold on to it. And they were well down, but Miss Evan Brennan was on, on, on the podium yeah, in front. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we were kind of but there was, but it wasn't so much uh, it laugh, brothers, it was so much that everyone was together. Everyone like, was brothers. Yeah. yeah, we were just one big happy family. Over there for a moment, have taken the cup over. I suppose I thought at the time it was my father. He only died a couple of years before that. And I suppose that the three of us been there on the field, and it was it was something else. You know, I mean, to think of what the way he would, the way he'd have his chest out. You know, and I mean, he died a young man at sixty years of age, and. His three sons in an Ireland final beating Kerry with mm. five in a row. Plotted today and plotted it with success. Boos dair u levi on, ach ni rolla hinta chamash ni di shtakab. Offly the champions. Chirich na shon lei vaji ni di gachtu kug ni di wak shag mo yola gal gabad. Agus khrusha krayf chonoch lahab. Brendan Lowry. Brendan Lowry has got it. 14 yards out. A kick. Is it coddling sufficiently? Yes, a lovely point there by Brendan Lowry. Chonya Brendan agus Michael Orobo gimmers to stechs na nechodi. Agus buia da craf drama eg forni i vali agus a fair bon. Ach vi rudi kin special to savoy lakab. Agus a gavi lig zanai bein tenim Lowry sne kani into sports to the east. Nere gru Mark Brendan, Shane, Comortus oskulte golf na heiden mar imdo de materach you know just been so proud of us just you know that he done what he done and <laughs> the only memory was around the green you think it was a match <laughs> when he hold the put everybody ran you think it was <laughs> Crow Park. Park again like. <laughs> When you think of us as a family, we were involved in the 82 All Ireland, one of the greatest days of GA history. And then the other sporting moment, an amateur winning the Irish Open. I don't have to say any more, you know.